Hi there and welcome to this Advent Tarot series. It's the 20th of December and the card for today is the moon. So the moon in tarot represents our intuition, it represents the unconscious mind, dreams, fears, illusions, and it can represent a time of uncertainty. You can see that there's a, a crayfish coming out of the water onto the land at the beginning of this really, really long path that winds way into the distance past this, these two characters. This one's a dog and a wolf. And, it, and ultimately between these two towers, towers, the towers represent good and evil. The dog represents the tame conditioned uh, kind of our, our tame conditioned nature and maybe civilization um, like the way that we've been conditioned by our culture and society whereas the wolf is like the force of nature that our wild kind of that side of our nature something that's untamed um and the coming the crayfish coming out of the water onto the path represents some sort of new awareness this is the unconscious so something become moving from unconsciousness into conscious awareness that then is the start uh, uh, that, that kind of starts us off on a new journey. So one of the main meanings about the moon card is that when we are embarking on a new path or we're moving into unknown territory, if we don't have the full awareness, like the full illumination, like we would if it, if it's the sun card, that's like full light, full transparency. You can see everything really clearly. But the moon is shadowy. Things get hidden in moonlight because, you know, it's only a reflection of the sun. There's a lot of darkness still there. There's things that uh, we can't see, we can't perceive. And so because of that, it's inviting us to like connect much more with our inner knowing. If we don't have all the information out there, then this is the best way to kind of like guide ourselves forward on the path. And, you know, a lot of there can be um, like tricks in the light. You know, you, you can see things that aren't really there. So that what that suggests is that if you are finding at the moment that maybe you're uh, letting your imagination run away with you, pull it back really kind of get focus on what is true right now what you can rely on what what really is there and be quite mindful of uh, when you are um, drifting off into fantasy land because if you find yourself creating a world of fantasy based more on what you want rather than what is really true what than what's really there then that can lead to a whole lot of disappointment. So it's suggesting to maybe pause until you've got all the full information before you make any big decisions or any fast decisions. It's not a great time for that. And also when we are embarking on a new path into onto new territory, often we, you know, you, you're moving into that, outside of the comfort zone and so that's when you bump into anything that's unhealed within yourself any wounding that's there gets triggered and so if those fears or anxieties that might come up as you take new steps on on this path to a, a new direction as you've you know be you've had some new kind of thing has given you that impulse to to change your life or move in a different direction that's quite scary you know that we our ego wants us to stay safely in what's known and so you can expect for um when you when you meet your edges at your, the edge of your comfort zone those tr triggers then normal you know you can expect those to happen if it if you have a really big reaction a really big fear or or big anxiety to some kind of new um venture or something get some support so do some hypnotherapy work do something that connects with your inner you could do meditation you could do shamanic journeying some sort of healing work that actually meets those uh old wounds that talks to that old part of you yourself that was hurt or or that created some sort of uh meaning or or made something true about you that wasn't true that is now being triggered 
So it's a really good invitation to dive into our inner being. And as such, you might also be really connected to the moon to particularly around the, the full moon or the new moon. And if that is what resonates for you today from the card, then that might be an invitation to actually take some time to carve out time for some kind of ceremony or ritual that is going to help you connect much more with your inner being, your the um, connect with the divine feminine with the rhythms and cycles of the earth, of nature. Uh, it's in that space where you create the optimum conditions to receive psychic messages, to get downloads, uh, to find wisdom and insights that might move your life forward or it might be something that you have to share with others. So lots and lots of messages in the moon card so if this resonates with you today, do leave me a comment and uh, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy these and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.